In this video, we will cover how to install a custom SSL certificate in QRadar. You can find these steps listed in the QRadar product documentation, so we recommend opening that link from the video description so you can copy and paste the commands we use. Before we begin, we have to do some pre-check steps. We'll need to ensure the certificate CN matches the console's FQDN, make sure the private key does not have a password, check that the key matches the certificate, and finally, ensure the certificate is fully validated on the console and managed hosts. First of all, let's check the current fully qualified domain name of the console. Then here I'll check the common name of the current certificate using the open SSL command. Now you can see the common name of the certificate matches my FQDN. Now let's check the common name for the new certificate we plan to install and ensure it matches as well. And here it does. So my new certificate has a password, so I'll use the following command to remove it. Passwords on certs are not supported because the console would request the password every time HTTPD was started. Now, if your cert does not have a password configured, you can skip this step. Next, I'll check that my private key matches the certificate by comparing the MD5 hashes. If the hashes for your key and cert are different, that means the pair doesn't match, and you'll have to have a new set generated before continuing. Finally, we need to confirm that the full validation chain is correct. Now, if you find you're missing the root or intermediate certificates, you must ask the PKI team for the full chain before continuing. And if you need assistance with that, you can see the technical note in the video description for more details on troubleshooting validation chain issues. So here, I'll try to validate my cert. And as you can see, mine failed validation because the root and intermediate certificates are not trusted. To fix this issue, I just need to copy my additional certificates into the trusted folder. So I have the root certificate and two intermediates I need to move over. After that, we can update the trust store. And now when we validate our new cert, it passes verification. It's important that we complete the same validation process for all our managed hosts. I'm going to use the all servers sh script to run these commands I just did on my current host on all my managed hosts at once. Here I'll copy the root and then the intermediate certs into the appropriate directories and then update the trust store. Now that all the certs are validated and in place, we can begin the installation. All we have to do is enter in the installation command and follow the prompts to enter the paths to our certs and key, then confirm that we can restart the HTTPD service. Be aware that this installation can take some time depending on your environment. Once the new certificate is installed, we can check it with the following OpenSSL command. And here we can see the cert is configured correctly. Finally, to reload the SSL certificate, we must restart Docker on the host that runs our applications. And for me, that's the current console. Once that's done, the process is complete. Thank you for joining us to learn about how to install a custom SSL certificate.